we have an extraordinarily rich and beautiful tradition. It would be a shame to not be able to revel in these great, you know, riches of our tradition. We just have to do it the right way. Mm. I have to do it the right way and very carefully. And of course, not jump into these topics, but to be careful and to, to learn. And, and this is why it requires a teacher how to learn from the uh, divine leelas. What lessons are we to glean? Like the lesson on pride that Krishna clearly teaches the Vrajagopikas in the first, at the end of the first uh, act or the 29th uh, chapter of the Rasa Panchadhyayi. Hmm. The lesson on pride is extremely important. That's beautiful, yeah. He says, you know, uh, in the Bhakti Sutra, it's stated that the Ishwara does not like persons who are abhimana, overly mindful, filled with pride. He likes the bhakta of Dainya, who feels so like, you know, um, uh, humble and, and in, in relation to this, this overwhelming love of the divine. Humility is not meekness and uh, worthlessness. Humility is about receptivity, absolute receptivity and vulnerability. This is what humility is about. Devotees sometimes think that humility is about like, yes, Prabhu, I'm, I'll surrender, whatever you say. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not, that might be some level of cooperation or whatever. Humility means utter honesty, total transparency, complete vulnerability, pure receptivity. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 a, it's the ability to embrace Krishna's gifts more and more and more. At the same time, there must be passion, just like the gopis demonstrate. There must be a passion for um, uh, desiring Krishna, for, for struggling, uh, overcoming obstacles for Krishna. There must be that kind of assertion of oneself. Now, when the gopis asserted themselves to be out in the forest with Krishna, they were interacting around the forest, uh, uh, the, the, in the river edge, the river banks. And some of them got together and said, wow, we are the most fortunate women in the whole world. What were they doing? Ostensibly, they seemed to be very grateful now, didn't they? Hmm. But what were they doing? They were comparing themselves to other women. We are better. That's pride. Beautiful. Um, I, uh, so Garuda wonders, uh, how many shlokas does Chaitanya Charan know? Could I beat out Chaitanya Charan if we had a contest? <laughs> Easily. <laughs> But you see, that's wrong. That's a that's that's not the right. Uh, or I could. Or, or what if I said, I know so much more than Chaitanya Charan. Well, that's pride. First of all, how much do I really know? Okay, <laughs> okay. How much do I really know? And how much do I really know about what Chaitanya Charan knows? Fact is, I can't know that. I'm comparing myself in order to be better. Mm. That's pride. The gopis were comparing themselves to other women. See, and as soon as I start comparing myself to you, I'm removing myself from vibrant dialogue with you. As soon as the Vraja Gopikas compare themselves to other women, they've lost the rasa with Krishna. And so what does Krishna do? disappears just like that amazing 
So it's um, now I'm noticing this uh, what this thread that while the Go Rasdila is a very exalted pastime, there are there are ways in which we can relate with it at our level also. Right now, exactly. This is exactly what I'm trying to say, Chaitanya Charanji. Mm. Thank you. That these are meaningful lessons for us now. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm. 